what has been achieved for the past year in India and its roadmap to net zero? I'll tell you two or three things which are very significant. We have gone now, we crossed the 10% blending on biofuels. We had to do it by November 22. We did it five months in advance. We've taken our 20% blending target for biofuels, which was for 2030. We brought it forward by five years. We are going to do it by 2025. We are going in a big way, not only on ethanol, we are going into second generation ethanol. Since we last met, we are now producing ethanol in pilot projects from agricultural waste. We have increased the feed for our biofuels. We are going into biogas in a very big way. But I think the overall India story, I think since we last met, is that we're doing the transition faster. We are exploration and production is much faster. COP28 is around the corner. What does India have to offer? What sort of well, initiatives? India, India wants to offer its full, wholehearted support to the UAE for a variety of reasons. I think we've reached a stage in the climate negotiations where we have to separate the substance and the wheat from the shack. You know, there was a time when people used to turn around and say, this climate negotiations are nothing but a conspiracy against organized energy, oil, etc. I think those climate skeptics are hiding now because today you don't see global warming, you see global boiling. You see front page newspaper in the Western press of you know entire areas in Greece, Arizona, Argentina burning. I think the time has come for us in a realistic way at the next COP meeting which UAE is hosting for realistic practical solutions to be put on the world so that we don't have an ideological battle on what are the exact words phase out phase in. Look, this is serious stuff. And I'm glad that UAE is hosting both ATIPAC and uh, um, uh, COP to be able to uh, deal with these crucial issues of transition.